Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. And I'm Stu. And we're together bringing you announcements about Productive Computing University. This one's specific to FileMaker certification in the 18 version. Stu, tell us about what's going on. We're here. very excited. Of course, we have both uh, taken the exam and passed. <laughs> we're both FileMaker 18 certified. Ooh. We're very excited that our FileMaker certification preparation course is now FileMaker 18 verifiable mm -hmm. or just true to form. We've added the relevant lessons, the necessary information that you need to know. And we've proven that that was the case, as well as proven that the course itself, the theory behind it is also true. Yeah, the theory is really this simple. I have to study for the test every year. I can randomly go through a bunch of documentation and help files and experiments and just kind of hodgepodge my way through it, even if I have the certification guide. I wanted something where visually I could see and take a course, like so many other industries have a proper course for certification preparation. So now I can proudly say that essentially this is my dream for years to have a certification course for the FileMaker industry and we have it and we've taken it and people have taken it and they've passed. They've done better than ever before, me included. Uh, me included so, as well. Right, I mean, it's, uh, it really does help save time. I mean, you still have to put in a lot of work to certify, to get certified and to prep for that. Uh, on the order of, let's say, 30 plus hours for me, I mean, I'm not necessarily, um, you know, a, a scholar, an Ivy scholar, but um, it has saved me at least 10 hours this year alone. So that was pretty exciting to see that come to fruition how about used to oh definitely probably more than than 10 hours because before there were, really wasn't a structure like you said it was just oh, read this do i know i don't know there's just so much information so being able to after being certified in 17 going back and reviewing that same structure the same process and it, it i was amazed at how much i remembered but also how much I've forgotten that I needed to fill in those gaps of courses that I taught and, yeah. and the ones that you taught. Oh, same thing happened to me. I mean, I taught some of the courses on the ODBC and the ESS and, uh, you know, watching it again, it's like, wow, I, I kind of, that was a blind spot in my, in my knowledge. Uh, so it really, really does help. And I'm excited to hear all the feedback that's flowing in. People are passing, people are excited because they want to have a better way of studying, a more exciting way to kind of have a partner there with you and this course is sort of like your partner your buddy your study pal if you will and to know you're not wasting time reading a lot of fine print that isn't in the study guide that you missed somewhere it's just that's what this is all about getting in and learning what you need to know the right way hopefully fun uh, so whether it's filemaker 17 or filemaker 18 because the course actually covers both it's structured that way so you can uh, be prepared either way then we are excited to see you inside and join us in your journey of certification. Right. So when you're ready to take that test and you're ready to study for it, just check out ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. And you have, we have previews there. We have a free orientation course, which kind of has one hour to kind of get a feel for what the test is all about, why you need to get certified. And then when you're ready to dive in, uh, you can either purchase the bundle, which includes everything in the university, and we also have the course sold separately as well. So we would love to have you, and I'm sure once you take this course, you will feel a lot better about the test coming up. As well as the rest of your FileMaker development skills. I'm just speaking from experience, my level of knowledge has gone way up uh, from that alone. But our main course, main purpose for the course is to hear those two words from our students that you passed. Yes. Well, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one.